Who do y'all think killed Jeffrey Epstein? I'm one Sir Grove. I have one, two, three theories. I'm interested to know what your theory or theories might be. Is it, are they, similar to mine, that of mine? This is C4CW casting 495 celebrities worldwide. If you are true fans of this show, then I, we 495 most certainly appreciate you. So I'll get right to it. Theory number one, the shadow government of the United States of America, U.S. intelligence community. That's my theory number one, killed Jeffrey Epstein. Easy, schmeasy. Here's why. Well, because Jeffrey Epstein, it is rumored, had worked with U.S. intel. Yeah, that may sound far-flung and far-fletched. I'm um, sorry. far Flung and far fetched. Uh, isn't there a movie called Fletch? Is that what is that? Chevy Chase? Am I saying that right? Anyway, um, far flung, far fetched, may seem outlandish, preposterous, however you want to label that, characterize that notion of mine that Jeffrey Epstein worked for US Intel. Well, despite your uh possible notion to the contrary. There is information, documentation, evidence suggesting that he had some ties. He had some ties to the U.S. intelligence community. Now, you may be thinking, come on, Grove. All right, let's say he did. Let's say he did for whatever reason. Maybe there's something we don't know because we haven't seen that. We don't know why U.S. intel would work with a pervert, pedophile, uh, sex offender, child abuser. We don't know why that's the case. Um. But let's say there's some weird shit that you've seen, and that is the case, that he was somehow tied to U.S. Intel. Um, Okay, well, you know, keep talking. So, Jeffrey Epstein uh, would not be a statistical outlier. You have to think about Drug Drug Enforcement Administration. Uh, to understand if you're not familiar with what it is that I'm referring to. If you think that there's no way that Jeffrey Epstein could be a spy or an intelligence gatherer operative or some type of, some type of you know, cut out, go between, um, you know, fall guy, patsy, lackey, whatever you want to, you know, like think about there. Um, however you want to consider this. So uh, DEA agents, uh, it has been revealed are able to, some of them, depending on circumstances in the context of whatever operations it is in which they are involved, are able to involve in, uh, be involved in uh, sex orgies in order to get close to crime bosses and uh, cartels, mobs, organized, organized crime, criminal uh, groups, networks, uh, OCNs, as they're referred to in the criminal justice system, parlance of crime and punishment, criminal justice, organized crime networks, OCNs. They have been uh, allowed to engage in debauchery because when uh, presented with the opportunity, should they turn down such opportunity, it may look suspect if they're at a sex party and if there are, are illegal drugs and narcotics involved, they have also been allowed to engage in uh, said activities that is partake of uh, illicit, illegal uh, drug use, narcotics, uh, ingestion, consumption, etc. That's real shit. So the DEA has said that is those are officials at the top, managers, uh, advisor, you know, agents have said, supervisory, um, managerial, executive, management level oversight has and have said, look, you you can do that and 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 it's and it's okay. We'll look the other way. That's a DEA. Now imagine a higher level of the spy game. That's that's counter narco. That's that's narcotics. So let's move it up to the next level of 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 intelligence. Let's talk about espionage. Jeffrey Epstein knew a lot of very powerful people including the royal family of uh, England and others. 
So he, in connection to a lot of uh, VIPs, dignitaries, uh, <laughs> royal um, family members, and so on, he had a lot of international connections. He also has a background in mathematics and money. He's also a money guy, largely. You know, that's that's one of the most significant factors. So it's it's alleged that at some juncture, U.S. intelligence inserted itself and said, hey, look, man, we know you don't have a degree per se, but uh, you know a lot of very powerful people, man, and uh, you can help us out. So he worked his way up the food chain in gathering intel and dirt on all these different on all these different folks, right? All these different targets, all these different individuals, persons. At the same time, being the insidious sexual deviant that he was, he built up a file blackmail-wise, on all these different people and engaged in all this illegal sexual offender behavior. So his island, Orgy Island, the more the more of these different persons like Bill Clinton, for example, who pretended like they hadn't been to the island but had actually been to the island and forged documents, manifests, uh, paperwork to make it appear as if they hadn't been there, or they had been there only a minimal amount of times. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, Orgy Island, as exclusive as it was, and outfitted to uh, <clears throat> reduce sound, noise, um, walls within walls, like skiff. You know, I mean, this guy was abusing children, man, and, and women. And he did this, and he spent money... To um, he spent money to uh to outfit this island so that he could rape women, and uh, it's really sick, man, and it's really despicable, and I mean the the level of criminality is staggering. This guy was was a was a rape artist. He was he was a sick pedophile, and a disgusting vile, reprehensible, again, execrable, despicable, fucking less than human. So, because he had devolved to something else, something primal and, and, and subhuman in my book. And he had all these files on all these different elites. And uh, so knowing that if he were to reveal that information to the public, it would... It would almost be like Pandora's box. It would open a can of worms and you would find out that this former president did this and, you know, this whoever possibly royal family member did this and all these other people and it would be a fucking media nightmare. Be a media firestorm. And also he probably knows the names of U.S. intelligence operatives. So they just took him out. They just fucking took him out. They're just like, dude, motherfucker you son of a bitch. And, uh, you know, they couldn't really do anything to him when he was alive while he was working for them because he had a blackmail file. And that's that's how he operated. He was working for U.S. Intel, is my guess, based on what I've read. And at the same time, he is playing both sides of the fence. He's having these elites come to his orgy island and, and he's doing all this shit that's totally illegal, highly, extremely illegal, improper, deviant, fucking level three and beyond sex offender shit. And he's 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 just flouting the system and gaming the system. And U.S. Intel knows it, but it can't really do anything at the time because he's so involved in these intricate, complex um, operations involving foreign dignitaries and other. So when he went to prison and or the holding facility in Manhattan here and uh, he was supposed to have been guarded, they, uh, they, they, they seized the opportunity, man, and they took him out. 
So, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward to me, man. He had thumbed his nose again at U.S. Intel, and he obviously, man, was, you know, he he was he was he was a very sick and deranged fucking piece of shit, less than human, and he used all of that money, all that wealth, to create his rape orgy, orgy, rape island, and he took advantage of and abused young women, and, I mean, there's information, like I said, that points to his connections to U.S. intelligence, and and they probably just didn't have a whole lot of intel on him at the time, because his island was secluded, and again, he had the island outfitted to reduce, uh, you know, sounds and noises, and he had it, you know, made uh, with certain acoustics so that, you know, he could have his 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 wild, you know, orgy sex parties and lessen, that is, decrease, reduce, you know, the amount of sounds and noises. And he had very strict rules and policies in place in that housekeeping. They were to never be seen. He never wanted to see them. He didn't want them to ever be around him in his presence. So, you know, this dude was a fucking, this dude was demonic, man. He really was demonic. And, uh, at the same time, he was used and, um, as a go-between, a cutout or whatever, strung along in, in which to gather, you know, intel. And, uh, the U.S. government had had it with him, man. And he was set to, um, provide information, uh, you know, prior to trial and, and to go to trial and to stand trial. And they were like, nah, man, this motherfucker will reveal way too much shit about these, um, about these elites. And that would just kind of, that would really fucking upset the balance of society and the system, man. And, uh, we can't allow for that information to ever be public. And so they took his ass out. I don't now theory number two, (laughs) it's not really my theory. I just have to comment on the theory that some organized crime network took him out. Doubtful. I mean, come on, man. Fucking please. I mean, man, please. The third is that one of the, uh, one of the persons, one of the persons that had participated in his, uh, basically cult, someone who was a member of his orgy island, rape island, like, for example, Bill Clinton or one of the royal family members, had him taken out. Nah, doubtful. Highly, highly doubtful. The way they did it, man, it really suggested it was a government operation. Everything was fucking absolutely perfect. There's zero trace trace of anything. Yeah, organized crime networks have similar sophisticated... um, you know, operational methods, um, and techniques, but this, this one was military grade, man. This is, this was, this, this is shadow government shit, man. And, uh, that's, that's why, that's why the FBI spinning its wheels. And I'm pretty sure the FBI knows at this point, and they knew pretty much from the very beginning that, um, that it was a government. It was, it was a faction within our government, shadow government faction, they took him out, man. That's why there's zero trace and they have no shred of evidence whatsoever. And the switch out of the guards and who was supposed to be there and who was there supplanted in that person's place and the video fucking footage just being expertly erased from like exist. I mean, the whole thing, man, suggested it was absolutely a U.S. intelligence community inside fucking job, man. A hundred fucking percent. Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. This shit is a no-brainer.